The bill is dead, dead, dead. Dead as a doornail, and average Americans have a lot to be proud of. S-1348 suffered a sound beating on Thursday when the Senate vote on cloture came up 15 votes short. Knowledgeable observers considered it virtually impossible, but with thousands upon thousands of phone calls, faxes, emails, and irate meetings with our elites, you did it. There's just one problem, though. Conference. I'm not dead. What? Nothing. Here's your ninepence. I'm not dead. Yeah. He says he's not dead. Yes, he is. I'm not. He is. In his insane desire to do nice things for the citizens of Mexico, President Bush plans to do lunch with Senate GOP members this week in a desperate attempt to keep the Shamnesty Bill alive. Though the bill has brought his approval ratings to their lowest point ever, Though only 23% of Americans support it, though only 16% of Americans think the bill would actually lower illegal immigration, the president will try to resurrect it. Scott Rasmussen of Rasmussen Polling recently wrote, There's no mystery to why the public opposed the bill. In the minds of most Americans, immigration reform means reducing illegal immigration and enforcing the border. Only 16% believe the Senate bill would accomplish that goal. According to MSNBC, Bush's scheduled lunch on Tuesday with GOP senators is part of a campaign by the White House and allies in both parties to placate or outmaneuver conservative Republicans who blocked the broad immigration measure this week. Since only seven Republicans voted for cloture, when the president talks about placating or outmaneuvering Republicans who block the bill, isn't he attempting to outmaneuver what would generally be referred to as his base? Of course, the president's amnesty lapdogs, Lindsey Graham, John McCain, John Kyle, and his new bestest friend, Ted Kennedy, will be right there with him. We're left wondering if George Bush's legacy will be the death of the Republican Party, not amnesty. So why are we doing a special emergency blog burst just to talk about this? Having done their duty and effectively defeated this bill, Americans should have been able to breathe a deep sigh of relief. As a matter of fact, that's exactly what El Presidente hopes you'll do this week. And that's exactly why we're here, taping this at 10 minutes past my bedtime. You see, the greedy elites who do not care about the devastating toll of cheap labor on our country and culture, the Chamber of Commerce, the Wall Street Journal, the unions, won't rest this week. Regardless of the cost to the American people, the self-serving elites who seek political gain, like the delusional GOP members who will be signing their political death warrant with this legislation, won't rest this week. And of course, those who just plain hate this country, ethnic grievance groups like La Raza, and the usual motley crew of leftists, communists, and globalists, won't rest this week. And that's why we're here, folks with this extra special read all about it edition of the Blogs for Borders video blog burst. Because we the people can't afford to rest this week either. Keep calling, keep faxing, keep emailing, keep showing up in the offices of those who are paid to represent you. Because if they want to do CPR on S1348, it's up to us to pull the plug. Ah, well, can you hang around a couple of minutes? He won't be long. No, I've got to go to Robinson's. They've lost nine today. Well, when's your next run? Thursday. I think I'll go for a walk. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Look.